Hello YouTube world, pretend farmer here. Not a real farmer, just pretending. We're here this afternoon with the last one of our original flock here on the pretend farm. This is the oldest remaining survivor. Very first batch of chickens we ever purchased here on the pretend farm was these from Rural King. We knew originally after getting some real buff Orpingtons from another breeder that we didn't have all buff Orpingtons. So then we did some research. For years, we thought we had buff rocks. But since then, I have had several of my viewers point out that this chicken has a completely slick head with no comb at all. And while her legs are yellow, which is one of the characteristics of a buff rock, the buff Chan Tecklers, one of their big things is they have a slick head. Well, after looking at some pictures, doing some more reading, I realized we got a batch of buff Chan Tecklers. I was never crazy about them. They were never crazy about me. You can tell she just really doesn't want to be here. I'm going to go ahead and trade out for a better chicken. Does a chicken pee? That's the question. That's a good question. I mean, after all, if you follow a chicken around more than a couple minutes, you're going to see it squat and poop. Chickens are constantly pooping when they walk around. They even poop on the roost when they're asleep. All night long, they're pooping. 24 hours a day, a chicken poops. But if you follow a chicken around, you won't ever see a chicken squat and pee. You won't see a rooster go over to a tree and cock his leg and a stream squirt out like he's peeing on a tree, like a dog would. Very logical question then is to ask, do chickens pee? The answer is, chickens don't have a bladder. Most birds don't. Well, chickens, they're a bird. They don't have a bladder. So what happens is their, their urate, their urine, goes from the kidneys down into the cloaca where it meets with uh, solid waste coming from the large intestine and it gets absorbed into that solid waste basically in the poop chute. What ends up happening is when a chicken takes its normal poop, the urine is mixed in with it. A normal chicken poop is the kind of slim cylindrical looking poops. Sometimes they kind of curl like a candy cane shape, but they're like the little cylindrical kind of poops. That's a chicken's normal poop. And if you look at that poop, a lot of times the, the end tip of it, like the last third or maybe even half of it is like a whitish color. Well, that white is the urine or the urate in their poop. Now, maybe you didn't know this or not, but chickens can actually take two different kinds of poops. We've talked before about how a chicken's digestive system works. When chickens are pecking around eating food all day, they don't have teeth like you and I do to help them chew that food. So what happens is it goes down and gets stored in their crawl. While that food is sitting in the chicken's crawl, enzymes get in there and they start the digestive process by starting to break down that food. From there, it goes on into the gizzard, which is like a large muscle that's constantly contracting and grinding around. All the stones and pebbles and stuff that a chicken eats, they sit down there in the gizzard and this helps as that muscle contracts, they kind of act as little grinders to help the chicken break down and grind up that food so it can be passed along. Now, a portion of that, I'd say the majority of it, goes on through into the large intestine, out through the cloaca, the same hole that they lay eggs from, and that's their regular poop. That would be the same poop that the kidneys send the urate down to meet with. It gets absorbed into there, and they poop it all out. So essentially, their pee comes out through their poop. But then they also have another little scavenger tube called cecum. And what this cecum does is it basically takes a portion of what they're digesting, and it hangs on to it to really help extract those extra nutrients out, kind of as it ferments. A chicken's digestive system is actually a lot more complicated than the pretend farmer can explain to you, but it's very efficient in that they try and get every little bit of energy out of their food that they eat as possible before passing it along. In a nutshell, you've probably noticed that a lot of your chicken's poop is those long little J-shaped candy cane looking poops that are cylindrical, kind of brownish looking with maybe white tips. But every now and then you'll see your chicken just blow out this huge wad of yellow or maybe a sticky tar black looking poop, real nasty, extra stinky. Those are the poops that come from the cecum. And that's the poop on how chickens pee. Now that you know that, you'll be a better chicken farmer. Till next time, this is the Pretend Farmer, signing out. Hey, Bucky.